Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my video and welcome to my top things to do in the Lake District that you might not have thought about. Um, so I visited the Lake District a couple weeks ago now and it was absolutely amazing. The Lake District is a national park in England and not only is it the largest national park in England, it's also home to the highest peak in England which is Scarfell Pike as well as the largest lake in England which is Lake Windermere. So you can see why it's the most visited national park in the UK. Um, so. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video and without further ado, let's begin the list. So the first thing to do in the Lake District is visit a place called Rydal Cave. Uh, now Rydal Cave is a full on hidden gem um, and it's so surprising because it's literally slap bang in the middle of the Lake District. Um, it's about a 10 minute drive from the town of Ambleside which is really popular, I'm sure you might know it. So there's a few really nice walks around this cave and you've got a couple of great options uh, to walk to the cave. Um, if you want a slightly longer walk you can park in the town of Rydal itself. And if you want a slightly shorter walk, which you can see the footage of here, uh, you can park at a place called White Moss, um, and it's probably about a half an hour walk through some really nice forests, overlooking Rider Water, the lake as well, and it's just a really nice walk. So that was point one, now let's move on to point two. Uh, now most people will know the highest peak in England which is in the Lake District which is called Scarfell Pike and probably if most people are visiting the Lake District they will opt to climb Scarfell Pike but what less people may think is to climb the third highest peak in England which is called Helvellyn. So in my opinion Helvellyn trumps Scarfell Pike on not only scenery but just the enjoyableness of walking up it and I would personally recommend climbing Halvellyn via the really well-known Striding Edge Path um, and that's the footage that you can see here. Uh, now it's a bit of a scramble that can get a bit challenging if you're not used to mountain climbing, uh, climbing Halvellyn this way. Um, it's not too difficult or narrow or anything the path but it is exposed to some really strong winds and you just need to be quite confident in your footing um, but I will make another video very shortly describing this route up Halvellyn in depth because honestly it was in one of my top 10 things I've ever done and I would really definitely recommend it uh, to anyone visiting the Lake District. Climb up this mountain because it is amazing. You can see the entire Lake District from the peak. Okay, so next on my list is a place called Ray Castle. Um, now this is called a castle, but technically it's not really a castle. It's actually a Victorian house that was built in around 1840 for a retired surgeon from Liverpool to live in. Um, and obviously, you know, maybe this guy had some sort of passion, obsession with castles, but it's been remodeled so accurately and the attention to detail is crazy um, to look and replicate and act almost exactly as a castle. So this castle sits overlooking Lake Windermere and not only can, you know, you go inside the, the castle, but there's also some really amazing guys gardens and just some incredible walks around Lake Windermere from this point. And even though it's not a really old castle, it still has a really interesting history actually. Um, Beatrix Potter, which I'm sure you know, uh, her house is also about five minutes up the road from this castle in the Lake District, which is called Hilltop, which you might also be worth a visit. But she stayed at this castle uh, on a holiday and it's actually classed as kind of starting off her love with the Lake District. And so you can find out all about that in the house. So next on my list we're going to be moving on to the town of Kendal which is home to the Kendal Mint Cake. So this town is really pretty. Um, it's got the River Kent flowing straight through the middle and with all of its grey limestone buildings it just makes this town a really really nice place to explore. I'd recommend a visit to the 1657 chocolate shop. Um, uh, maybe this maybe is a reward for climbing Halvellyn, you know? But you can do this as well as checking out the many gorgeous looking churches in this town as well as the art gallery, uh, museum and of course Kendall Castle. So Kendall Castle is completely free and this castle overlooks the entire town. Um, so it's the ruins of a classic 12th century home to the Lancaster family who used to be the barons of Kendall um, and considering that it's been in ruins since Tudor times it's actually really very well preserved um, and there's a lot of great information written around as you explore the castle and enjoy the amazing views of Kendall so I would definitely recommend a little detour and visit 
to this castle. And so moving on now from the town of Kendal to uh, a good old stone circle. Um, so I love stone circles. I visited actually the uh, Rollwright Stone Circle, which is in the Cotswolds a while ago. I'll link my video up here if you're interested. But this stone circle, to be honest, that trumped the Rollwright Stones just in terms of its location and its backdrop. You could see Helvellyn from the stone circle, which is amazing. So the Castle Rig Stone Circle is near the town of Keswick, which is right at the northern part of the Lake District, which is also near to Penrith, um, which is another castle that I would also suggest that you visit. Uh, there's just too many things to do in the Lake District. I can't get it all into one video, but I will leave a list of everything that I suggest you see down in the description. So feel free to check that out, uh, Google yourself, do some research, so much to do here. And so this circle is dated back to around 3000 BC uh, during the Neolithic period and it just has all the trademarks of a great stone circle. Um, there's a really nice walk to this place as well. You can walk all the way from the town of Keswick if you want, but if you want to drive really close, you can go uh, right up to it and see the views with about a five minute walk. And as you can see by this video, even if it's foggy and raining, it doesn't matter, it still looks just as incredible. So definitely go and visit. So technically um, the next thing on my list is not actually in the Lake District, it's technically in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, I visited this on the way to the Lake District but it's really close and I would suggest if you're going past it and you want to stop off on your trip, this is the place. Um, this is called Malham Cove. So as you can see here it is just absolutely grand, it's amazing. Um, this was formed by a waterfall that was carrying meltwater from the glaciers at the end of the last ice age, so more than 12,000 years ago. Um, and there's just some amazing walks that you can see. You, you can see it from the bottom or you can walk up to the top and even look over the edge. Um, and also within a half an hour walk nearby is a place called Gordale Scar. Now I don't have any photos of Gordale Scar because I didn't personally go. Uh, we planned to but we were running a little bit low on time but I would definitely suggest uh, check it out on Google. Um, and really kind of visit it. It looked just as incredible as Malham Cove. So I'm reaching the end of my list now. Very sadly, I've got two more places left and I'm gonna be talking about some great towns um, that are in the Lake District. So firstly, I mentioned it earlier, but it is the town of Keswick, which is on the northern part of the Lake District. So Keswick is a really nice tourist town and it actually has a really similar feel to Kendall. So fun fact, uh, this town was actually where the pencil was invented uh, and it's even got a pencil museum to prove it. Can you believe it? And did I go? Of course I went. Why wouldn't I go? If you see a pencil museum, you go pencil museum. That is how it's done. So this was quite an interesting little museum. Um, it was home to the biggest colour and pencil in the world that you can see here and some, uh, some awesome pencil facts for all your pencil needs. Um, some pencil art as well. And also, you know, about the famous World War II secret map pencil and just so many things. Uh, you get a free pencil as well. I've said the word pencil way too many times, but yeah, it's just a nice little place. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trekking across the entire Lake District to see this pencil museum, but you know, if you're in the area, if you're close, if it's a rainy day, it's great, nice and cheap, way to kill a couple of hours and learn some great facts about pencils. And finally, we're on to the town of Ambleside. Uh, so Ambleside is a great little town. It's right in the center of the Lake District. It's home to some uh, some little Roman ruins, which are nice to see, some really amazing places to eat and just a really nice place to explore around. So. That concludes my video and that concludes my list. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Make sure you check out my other videos in my channel as well. I've got a load more great travels coming up very soon. Also, if you're from the Lake District, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if I, you know, maybe I missed something, uh, maybe there's something else you would suggest. Uh, and yeah, so subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.